a certain percentage of any pesticide application is likely to run off, but I think the highest risk is lawns because you have a lot of area that's treated. You have typically sidewalks and streets and other hard surfaces nearby and often compact soil. Philip Dickey is an expert on toxic chemicals and their effects. So you apply the chemical to the lawn, it rains or you water the lawn, and uh, some of the chemical will go off with that water. And in a, in a city, uh, you get a higher fraction of runoff from landscapes than you do in rural areas, and you also get faster transport. So you have you know, chemicals moving across parking lots and um, sidewalks going through storm drains. They can get to a stream very quickly. As the rain that falls on your yard runs off on sidewalks and streets, any chemicals you've used on your lawn have the potential to be carried with it. Once this runoff flows into the storm drain system, it's only a matter of time till it ends up in a stream, and the pesticides and fertilizers are introduced into the aquatic ecosystem. The amount that comes from any particular lawn is not that large, but we're talking here about uh, effects occurring in fish at parts per billion, or in some cases, parts per trillion levels. So it doesn't take very much to get into a stream to cause some problems. These pesticides and fertilizers create problems for the entire living system in the stream. They affect sensitive macroinvertebrates like mayflies and caddisflies that serve as food for young salmon, who in turn are affected while they're hatching, growing, and preparing to go out to sea. We know in King County, for example, from studies done by the U.S. Geological Survey that we have residues of about a dozen or 13 pesticides turning up typically in our streams here. Some of them at higher levels than others, and in some cases the levels of these pesticides are high enough that they may begin to cause effects on either fish themselves or on the animals that fish rely on for food. We know pretty well for some pesticides what's the effect of one pesticide all by itself, usually in the laboratory. Uh, but three, four, five, 12 different pesticides all uh, affecting the organism at the same time, uh, we don't really know how much more sensitive the fish will be to that kind of a mixture than they would be to a chemical all by itself. Springtime, of course, is when people go outdoors and they start looking at the lawn, they start uh, wanting to do lawn care. They see insects that were dormant during the winter starting to appear. They start to get a little worried about that. We're still getting a significant amount of rain in March, April, and May here. So chemicals applied to a landscape on a Saturday and then Monday morning it rains. Those chemicals will tend to be carried with the rain uh, into the stream. To learn how to care for your lawn and garden with the safest approach to chemical use, order a free copy of Grow Smart, Grow Safe by calling the Natural Lawn and Garden Hotline at 206-633-0224 or go to Seattle Tilth's website at www.seattletilth.org.